I'm often asked, just what does it mean to be or to become an herbalist? According to my dictionary, an herbalist is simply a practitioner of herbalism or two, a purveyor of medicinal herbs. As inclusive as this definition can be, calling oneself an herbalist can still feel pretentious or uncomfortable, wearing a mantle that you want to be sure fits. If you're new to plant medicine, you might wonder, what is it that I have to learn in order to qualify? Well, those of us with years or even decades in this field can sometimes question if we are truly good enough, if we truly know enough, if we've truly done enough. There are qualifications and criteria for the title, for sure, but they might not be what you think they are. To begin with, being a genuine herbalist is not determined by any degrees that you've ever obtained, no matter how valuable they can be otherwise. It's not determined by the official letters after your name, as hard as it can be to work to earn them. It's not by the number of clients you've seen, nor by any amount of money that you will ever learn. It's not by whatever amount of recognition or fame that you receive. It helps to remember that some of the most effective herbalists of all time have been self-taught, highly unofficial, and largely unknown outside the local communities that they so graciously serve. They were qualified, nonetheless. The genuine article and their street cred was well-deserved. Being an herbalist, after all, is made real by just a few things. First off, by your utter passion for the herbs and your desire and your determination to help others. Secondly, by your growing knowledge and your personal experiences with medicinal plants and with people's different health conditions. It's made real through the personal discoveries you've made and the customized formulas that you orchestrate by putting however much knowledge that you gain to use, helping clients or friends treat their issues. And finally, your title is made real by the positive outcomes you might assist with and by the relief and the gratitude that's going to show up in the faces of all that you help. To be clear, an herbalist is essentially anyone and everyone who knowledgeably and effectively uses plants to help support the natural healing processes. Don't get me wrong, you can always learn more than you know now, as well as you should. In the future, you might integrate different traditions, as well as experiment and come up with new methods and techniques, but accept the fact that you are already an herbalist. Your role doesn't await you on down the line like some distant goalpost. It's right now, this moment, putting your current level of knowledge and your overwhelming obsession to good work, improving lives naturally. Let me give you just a few suggestions for how you can roll. Start working regularly with just a small number of herb species and then expand. Try some new tincture and pay attention to how it feels in your body and how it acts. Don't just buy herbs from a store, wildcraft some gathering the wild herbs even where you live in the city. Get some soil on your hands, even if you don't have a yard or a garden. At least try growing some potted plants inside the house. Understand that plants are beings with their own intrinsic value, their own needs, and their own rights to live a life of dignity. Share your accumulated knowledge, and especially your actual experiences, with those anyone, basically, who might benefit, whether that be a family member, a paying client, or, or a suffering checker that, as you're waiting in line with the fellow shoppers to pay. If you find yourself consumed with herbs daily, consider developing that passion into a service or a business. Open a shop or a place of consultation. Try going online to sell the herbal products that you make. Find a means to teach students. And if you feel like it, write about what you know and what you speculate about. Finally, enjoy. Enjoy the intimate, sensual rituals of handling, smelling, tasting, and providing to others plant special medicines. Take some credit 
for your part in healing and bettering our precious world. Believe me, you got this. If you care enough about herbs and healing, no amount of self-doubt, fear, or hesitancy can stand in the way of what will evolve into your lifetime relationship, your lifetime walk with the plants. A journey of learning and of doing your plant healer's path.